Hi, welcome back. This is my office. Come on up and take a look. So I know we could spend hours talking about this. I'm just gonna hit some of the highlights, but um, if you have some more questions, please get in touch with one of our Pilatus sales centers and they'd be happy to arrange a demonstration for you. So when you first come into the cockpit, uh, you see our advanced cockpit environment or ACE as we like to call it. ACE is not just a marketing name, but it's a, it's a philosophy of how we design our aircraft and our cockpits, uh, all the way from our military trainers to the PC-12 NGX and now the PC-24. We try to take into account the pilot and everything that is necessary for a safe and efficient flight, including outward visibility, the ergonomics of how the cockpit is arranged, how every button, knob, control, and element of this cockpit is put together, is a pilot-centric view. This aircraft is a Part 23 certified single pilot aircraft. Most operators will still fly with two pilots, but we designed it to be easy enough to operate for a single pilot. Avionics are a major part of the aircraft, of course. The core of the system is a Honeywell Primus Epic system, which is airline grade avionics, but they've been optimized by Pilatus for single pilot operations in the PC-24. The PC-24 cockpit features four large displays, including two primary flight displays for the pilot and co-pilot. Those, of course, show all of your flying information, airspeed, altitude, attitude, heading, uh, as well as can be overlaid with traffic and terrain information. We also have synthetic vision system and uh, all of your engine instruments and radio controls. Everything you need to fly is right in front of the pilot. We also have two MFDs, which are primarily used for navigation, map information, flight planning. So here we have a flight plan from our headquarters in Stahn, Switzerland to Reykjavik. Uh, and at the bottom display is generally used for checklist work and for synoptics. So here you can see we have a uh, checklist underway just before engine start. We have the aircraft configuration, everything you need at a glance to see the aircraft system status. Finally, down below here, we have the touchscreen controller, which is a very convenient tool to be used for data entry and also for uh, controlling the weather radar and redundancy on, uh, on the cockpit controllers. Further back, we have the cursor control device, which provides a nice stable handhold for entering data even in uh, differing weather conditions with a trackball, scroll wheel, and some buttons. The PC-24 is optimized for single pilot operations. We wanted to make sure that it was easy to operate even if something went wrong. For that purpose, we have a centralized caution and warning system, and we have an electronic checklist. Here you can see we have the caution and warning system. It shows us, says the pack door is open, which is of course the case, we're here on the ground. If a pilot were to get a warning in flight, uh, it would come up on this screen right here, and he could go to the active queue. And now you have a checklist button on the yoke. This will pull up the procedures. It tells us which procedure it is, and it tells a passenger in a cargo door micro switch, not indicating a door fully closed on the ground. It tells us, yeah, we should not start the left engine without the door fully closed. The pilot then can go through the procedure um, with the help of the electronic checklist. Here we have the touchscreen controller, which provides a way to enter all kinds of information, including communication frequencies. Overall, the touchscreen controller also provides some redundancy and backup controllers. You have a cursor control device, uh, just like your computer touchpad on the touchscreen controller and, uh, and a alternate way of entering information. The PC-24 also features something not typically found on light business jets, and that's auto throttles. The system can be engaged for takeoff and manage the thrust throughout the entire flight. Uh, it provides the pilot a workload reduction. It also enhances safety and efficiency uh, throughout the flight. For example, before takeoff, as I advance the thrust levers halfway up, the system takes over. It indicates that it's now engaged and it's going to control the thrust levers as long as I want them. Uh, in theory, I could line up on the runway engage the auto throttles and not touch the thrust levers again until just before landing. It also provides a level of uh, safety backup. For example, there's a ASP, automatic speed protection, which will engage the auto throttles if the aircraft gets too slow or too fast uh, to help keep the aircraft within the operating envelope. 
As mentioned during the walk around, the PC-24 has a very high level of equipment as standard, such as an inertial reference system and an auto throttle system. The goal of the design team was to set a new standard for what a light jet could do and offer its operators. We recently certified TOLD, which is a takeoff and landing and data calculations for the PC-24. And it's a convenient system to allow the pilot to compute the takeoff and landing speeds and takeoff and landing distances based on current configurations. Overall, the TOLD system is a handy and workload saving device for the pilot to be able to quickly calculate speeds and distances for takeoff and landing. To be honest, the aircraft with its handling qualities, with its available thrust, with its optimally designed wing, and stability throughout the envelope. It's a pilot's dream. It's not like any aircraft I've flown before. For example, on takeoff, we have more than 4,000 feet per minute rate of climb. We can climb straight to flight level 450 in under 25 minutes. And often during demonstrations, I like to show the aircraft doing steep turns, manually flown at 45,000 feet. Even at this extreme corner of the envelope, the aircraft has wide speed margins and is incredibly stable throughout. We've also included a couple systems to enhance safety and protect the margins uh, at the edge of the envelope of the aircraft. For example, one system called Tactile Feedback is uh, monitors bank angle and speed. And if the pilot uh, exceeds 51 degrees, for example, uh, in bank angle, the aircraft autopilot servos are gonna come on and bring the aircraft back towards wings level. If the pilot's accelerating too fast towards a speed limit, it's going to uh, begin to pitch the aircraft nose up. There's also another system that will automatically engage the auto throttles as you approach either a slow or a fast speed edge of the envelope there. These are just extra levels of safety that the PC-24 has. There's even an emergency descent mode. If there's a cabin depressurization at high altitude, the auto throttles will automatically engage. The aircraft will begin a rapid descent and will descend and stabilize at 15,000 feet until the pilot can take over. With all of this automation, safety by design, docile handling characteristics, it made it possible for us to certify the PC-24 for single pilot operations right from the start. Of course, we realize that most operators will not operate with single pilot, but in the cases of maintenance, repositioning flights, and other times when there's only a single pilot available, the PC-24 offers operators the flexibility to operate single pilot. As far as performance and flight planning goes, the PC-24 offers operators a great deal of flexibility. Even though the cabin size and cargo capacity are more like a mid-sized jet, the fuel burns are typically similar to a light jet. For example, when we're planning a flight, we typically plan with 1,500 pounds of fuel for the first hour, and then about 1,000 pounds of fuel for every hour after that. When we look at flight tracking statistics, we see that most of our operators are flying flights of around 1,000 miles. For a 1,000 mile trip, you can take 2,500 pounds of cargo and passengers and land with adequate reserves. If you want to go further, for a 1,700 mile trip carrying 1,000 pounds of cargo and passengers, you're still going to land with around 1,000 pounds of fuel. And don't forget, the final landing could be at a paved or an unpaved runway. We've only had time to scratch the surface about the PC-24, but I hope it's been enough to pique your interest about our super versatile jet and why it's unlike any aircraft you may have flown in the past. If you have any more questions, please contact the Pilatus Service Center. They'll be happy to answer all of your questions. But for now, we'd like to show you the rest of the aircraft in the cabin, and Marta is here to show you the cabin. Wish you blue skies, tailwinds, and great flights.